okay, so now we've established that nothing is your fault. I don't think I can stress that enough. In fact, much of the presentation from this point on is merely filler based on highly suspicious resource material because the only point you really need to retain is nothing is your fault. But somebody must be at fault. Who could that be? Well, let's perpetuate the illusion of clinical professionalism and take a look at some visual aids. As you can see from this diagram, there are clearly two categories of people in the world. First and foremost, there is you, or as I like to refer to it, me. And then there's everybody else. Here's where you need to put on your thinking cap and do a little detective work. I'll go slow because I realize this is complicated. Now we've determined that you are not responsible for anything, thereby eliminating you as a suspect in this investigation. So who does that leave? Everybody else. I know, you're probably saying, why didn't I think of that? Well, it's because you're not me. But don't worry about it. That's not your fault. The important thing is, we have identified the problem, the very gates of hell from which all evil flows. Other people. Some of you may have suspected them all along. You're what I like to call the brighter kids in this class. <laughs>